a couple. They say their insurance company dropped their policy before they even filed a claim for hail damage. They told KETV Investigates they had one month's notice. As Maddie Augustine reports, it's all legal, so there's nothing to stop the same thing from happening to you. A singular letter from Travelers Insurance. January 12th. This letter was dated, but we didn't get it until the 17th. Stating, quote, we are non-renewing your policy due to the unfavorable physical condition of the property as described below. Roof shows advanced signs of wear and needs to be replaced. Debris and yard needs to be removed. But Tammy Curtis says neither an insurance agent nor inspector had ever been to her house. When I asked the insurance agent, how can they tell if there's debris in my uh, yard and need a new roof if they've never been here? And they said... They did like Google Map or Google Earth. In a statement to KETV, Traveler says they don't use Google Earth, stating, quote, Traveler's underwriters use a variety of resources to evaluate property conditions when available. High resolution aerial imagery may be incorporated as part of a holistic review. Something FNIC insurance advisor Trevor Fiala says is completely legal for insurance companies to do. Telling KETV, quote, advances in technology have allowed insurance companies to have more eyes on things than they've ever been able to have, and it's all legal to use. But Curtis questions how accurate aerial imagery is. Everyone that's been on our roof has told us that it wasn't bad enough to have it replaced. Because it's the base of her homeowner's insurance policy being terminated. All these years we had no claims with them. And so they should have been happy, and now they're having to pay out a big claim to put a new roof on my house, and they still dropped us. Curtis says after receiving the letter, she immediately started calling her agent, offering to replace the roof herself to keep her insurance. But despite finding a contractor to replace the roof before February 18th, even putting on the new roof, they were dropping us. Leaving Curtis frustrated. So if you use your, your claim, you're getting dropped. If you don't use it, they're finding ways to drop you. And that's what they did with us. And confused. In December, they raised our auto insurance and our house insurance, $250 each. And so from December and January, I paid an extra $500. It's a trend insurance advisors like Viola say they're seeing happen more and more, saying, quote, it doesn't matter who you are, how long you've been with a carrier, it can happen to anybody. And the reason why that is, is because of technology, leaving people like Curtis scrambling to find new insurance. I'm trying to find new insurance, it's going to cost me and stuff more because either I have to bundle and transfer everything or I don't bundle and then my premiums will be higher with another company. And it's something Fiala says insurance agencies can do without repercussions as long as they notify consumers within 30 or 60 days per each state's law. For KETV Investigates, I'm Maddie Augustine.